This is problem set three. Now I have two previous videos, obviously, under the same title, how to add or subtract rational expressions. And as I work on these problems with you in problem set three, uh, I wanna remind you if, you, if it looks like it's going too fast or it's over your head, please look at those other videos first, okay? These sort of build up to some harder examples. All right, here we go. What we have here is a four-step process, okay? These are rational expressions, which are, of course, algebra fractions. And we have to first find a common denominator. Then we have to write the equivalent fractions. In other words, change them into fractions with the common denominator. Then we have to actually do the adding and subtracting. And then, of course, we simplify. All right, so there's a little bit of writing involved. Grab a piece of paper, hit pause, and try these ahead of me if you want or watch me do the first one and then try the rest. All right, finding common denominator. In number nine, think of these as binomials, okay? It's not a bad idea to um, put parentheses around them first and think of them as one unit. So this binomial is the denominator of the first fraction. This binomial is the denominator of the second fraction and the common denominator is going to be a product of both. So for the m plus 6 fraction, we're going to multiply by 2m minus 1 on the top and bottom. And for this 2m minus 1 fraction, we're going to multiply both parts by m plus 6. All right. And again, I in doing these problems, I would recommend that you copy the original fractions down but space them out give yourself room to write in what the multiplication factors are so you can do the work so let's go ahead and put these over the common denominator here um, it's m plus 6 and 2m minus 1 okay I didn't give myself enough space there it looks like but both fractions are going to have the same common denominator now All right, so let's see what we get on the top. This is four times two m minus one, and multiplication by the distributive property is going to give me eight m minus four, okay? And then I have four m plus 24, four m plus 24. Now here's something I've seen students do and it's a really pretty good strategy. And as I go through these problems, I'm gonna speed up because again, you can pause the video and rewind if things kinda of get a little bit too difficult for you. But I'm gonna show you some shortcuts as we go and we'll sort of build up some to some really shortcut methods here. Now on the top I have, it's all one big fraction now, right? So I have 8m minus four from the first fraction and this is minus 4m. That subtraction sign applies to both parts. So the 4m now becomes negative. And this 24 becomes negative. Now what I've seen students do is just put a d there, okay? Because they don't want to have to write out that common denominator all the time. And then finally, we have 8 um, sorry, we have 8m minus 4m, and that's going to give me positive 4m. I'm combining like terms, and a negative 4 and another negative 24 is giving me negative 28. So 4m minus 28 over my common denominator d, which I'll go ahead and write out. But let me just show you the answer key, and let's see how we did. 4m minus 28 over those two binomials in my denominator. Generally, it's assumed that we would leave the denominator factored. All right, it does help with the simplification process at the end, even if you don't have to simplify. But that would be my official answer number nine. All right, now don't cheat. Let's go back to number 10 and try that out. Now number 10, what is the common denominator going to be? Well, 6n to the third can be factored as 2 times 3 times n, n, n. And the n plus 4, remember I would recommend that you put parentheses around it. 
And that's just, of course, the same binomial it looks like, n plus 4. So there's nothing there in common. There's no copies or anything. So we're actually going to just multiply them all together again. So my common denominator is going to be 6n to the third times n plus 4. All right, so what does that mean? Well, in this first fraction, I have to multiply it by that binomial. That's the only missing part of my denominator. So n plus 4. Over here, I have the n plus 4, so I need to multiply both parts by 6n to the third. All right. Now, using the distributive property on both sides, I would have 6n squared plus 24n minus... Now, we'd have to do the distributive property here. That would be 6n to the third times 2n, and that would be 12n to the fourth And then multiply these two, that'd be negative 30 n to the third. That's a squared term there. All right. So I get 6n squared plus 24n minus 12n to the fourth because of the subtraction there, and plus 30n to the third because of I'm subtracting a negative. Now I go in ahead and put my denominator and wrote it back out again and notice how um, I need to see if I can simplify and I do see a common factor. I see a 6 factor and there's at least an n factor I can pull out. So every term here in the numerator has a factor of 6 and n that I can factor out. Let's look at the final answer And you notice how I factored out an n here in the bottom, and I factored out a 6n out of each of those. All right, so this is my final answer. And we had a little more complicated um, simplifying at the end there. Okay, let's get back to 11 and 12. What is my common denominator? Well, it's going to be the 2 times the 3 times the r minus 3. So altogether, it's going to be 6 times r minus 3, which means that I have a missing factor of 3 on the bottom and the top of that first fraction. And I have <clears throat> 2 r minus 3 as a missing pair of factors there. All right. So let's go ahead and multiply that out and put it all over the same denominator. Using distributive property here, this would give me 12r minus 3 plus, so no sign change worried about there, that's 8 times r, 8r, and 8 times 3 minus 24. All right, combining like terms, I would get 12r and 8r is 20r, and the negative 3 and the negative 24 would be negative 27, all over my common denominator of 6 times r minus 3. Leave it factored. Now, is there anything I can divide out there? Nope, no common 2s on all parts there, and no 3. Um, common factor there. So that should be my final answer. Let's check. You got it. Very good. All right, now hopefully you've tried, you will try number 12. Find the common denominator, write equivalent fractions, add or subtract, and simplify. So remember I said to find a common denominator, you factor apart the denominators. And I have 3, of course, is just going to be 3 for the first denominator. The second denominator is 3 times 3 times x times the binomial. So the largest group of 3's I have is that pair right there. Ignore that one. Then I have an x factor, which I have to include. And then I have this binomial. All right? So 
that's the parts of my common denominator, which is really 9x times x minus 2. And so in this case, I'm going to have to multiply the denominator of the first fraction by 3x and x minus 2. Okay? Make sure you do that on the top and the bottom. So you can see why you have to kind of rewrite it and spread it out and extend your fraction bar there. And in this other one, I have 9x already and the x minus 2 already, so we don't change that. I mean, literally, we are just multiplying both parts by 1, and we can just ignore that. So we need to multiply this together. That would be 18x squared times x and then times 2. We have to use distributive property. Remember, this first part is 18x squared times x would be 18x to the third, and 18x squared times 2 is 36, negative 36x squared. Now we're going to subtract, and it's just the x minus 2, so we really are just changing the sign of each part. So negative x, negative 2. Don't forget to do that twice. All right. Now, I just put a D there. Again, my shortcut is because I know I'm just going to carry it along with me until I get done with my final answer. Um, let's see what the overall... Um, let's see. I don't think I can simplify that at all. I think that's my answer. So let's check. 18x to the third minus 36x squared minus x minus 2. Wow, that took some work there, but there's a lot of parts. So again, I hope you're following my steps, and if you uh, need to go watch those previous videos, go ahead. I'm going to do one more example um, in a new video. It's going to be problem set four, and then you can take the self-quiz. Good luck.